Hi guys, it's Krista or Tiny Sims, whichever have you. I'm going to attempt to show you how I use GIMP to edit my pictures. I feel like there aren't as many GIMP users out there anymore. I used to use it back in the day when I was into IMVU and I used to attempt to edit pictures. I even knew how to draw hair at one point. I don't really know how to do that anymore. I forgot. All my hair looks crappy when I do it, so I don't even try. But I've I've never been able to switch over to Photoshop. I just I can't. I don't know how to use it. I know how to use GIMP, so I'm gonna show you how to use GIMP. Or I'm gonna show you how I know how to use it. I'm probably not doing anything right, but you know it's whatever. As you can see, I have my picture and it's sideways, and I don't usually post sideways pictures. So we're gonna attempt to fix that. You go up to over to Image Transform, and then you just whichever. And you can do it. You can change it to. You can you can do all the cool things, all the cool things with that. Um. What else do I usually do? I don't. I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. I'm just gonna edit this and then tell you what I'm doing as I go. One of the things I don't like about The Sims in general is that I don't know. Maybe it's my graphics. Maybe maybe that's what it is. But all the freaking time, there are pointy edges on my sims. Pointy edges, and that is what I'm fixing here on the lips. That I am just going to simply use whatever that is and just smudge out just oh so carefully. So it's round. You have round lips, not a pointy edged lip. You have to be careful though, because then that, that happens. Then I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't, I don't do this all the time. It depends on what pictures I'm, I'm doing. Like if they are my legacy pictures, I tend to just uh, slap a curve on them. Or if you use Photoshop, it's I believe it's called an action, and then add a border and call it good. If it's a photo shoot picture like this, I usually take a little bit more time to edit it. A little. I usually don't go as far out as I'm gonna go for this right now. Because I'm bored and I don't have anything else to do. Although this uh, program I'm using to record this said I only have 10 minutes. I only record things for 10 minutes. I could have spent another 10 minutes trying to find another one that let me record as long as I wanted to, but I'm lazy. So we're going to do this in 10 minutes. Even though I'm pretty sure it's going to take me longer. Alright, see, ta da! Now they don't look nearly as bad. You're just smoothing out the edges. I don't. That's one of the things. You always have such harsh, harsh lines and harsh shadows in The Sims, and that drives me nuts. Mm. Oh, don't do that. No, I messed it up. Problem numero uno been messing with things that I did. I always mess things up. And I don't know how to fix it. Unless I completely start over. Alright. Alright, another thing that I always do, like, I usually even do this on my legacy pictures, take that back, I take back what I said, just slapping a curve on there, is that I always smooth out the nose. It doesn't matter what skin they have on it, it's always so bumpy, and I'm just like, why? And make it look more like I know this skin. I love this skin. I'm like breathing into my mic. I'm sorry. Um, I really like this skin because it's really smooth and you don't have the whole. I don't. I'm very picky. Very. I don't like this skin in The Sims 4, by the way. I'm just making that known. I don't like it. I'm so used to have, being able to do whatever I want. I have all these nifty skins and I don't. And you see her ear, her ear is not pointy. It is not a toy. We will fix this though. And you just you just make things nice and curved. Spend a good twenty minutes doing this. I think it makes the picture look better. I don't know if anybody else will say it looks better, but I believe it does. Oh don't do that. 
there we go and the one thing you have to be careful about when like smoothing out these edges like this especially next to the ear is that you don't want to get rid of the shadow that's right here or it'll really look dorky so you have to keep this shadow in there so I always pull down don't go side to side like this or you're gonna yeah that looks dorky don't do that I usually go up and down when trying to get rid of shadows because you you still need the slight shadow but not all the time I don't know what I'm talking about don't listen to me And then once that's done, there I go. I think it just that I don't like it when I do. All right. I had music on here once, so you guys could listen to me while I slightly talk to myself and not talk all at the same time. But uh, I couldn't get it to sound right like it was too loud and you couldn't hear me and I don't know why I'm so quiet on this thing so I'm sorry you'll have to forgive me on that one I have no idea why um you see look pointy ears she don't have pointy ears pointy ears I spend way too much time doing this, by the way. And it's very unnecessary. Very. Alright. You gotta just be a little careful because you don't want to mess up the sides. There you go. And then you just smooth out the ear just a tidbit and make it look nice. Don't do that. All right, there we go. Ta-da! She's she looks slightly better now. Her ear looks gigantic, though. Oh well. Um, what else do I usually do? Ah, yes, clothing shadows. I hate. You see that? Okay, you see that line where the my cursor is at right now. You see that line that goes around that dress? Right now. What? What is that? Why is that even there? I don't even understand. I usually get rid of that though. And your shirt's all nice and not curvy like it should be. Alright. Mm. Alright, there we go. And go back to smudging. Smudging is your best friend. Smudge tool. And you slightly bigger and you just smudge it down. I don't know how much I'm so to repeat that. Just smudge down. It makes life so much easier when you do. I know it's easier to just go back and forth, but it causes problems in the long run. And you'll understand. Even though I don't think she needs it on her chin, but I'll show you in a minute. Alright, there we go. Let's see, and then we have to fix the shoulder up here. You just place it accordingly. Sometimes that's slightly more difficult. And you do it in sections, which is what I. Ooh, I don't have to do. Got it. Alright, ta da! There's no way I'm gonna get this done in 10 minutes. Fair warning. It'll be two parts, two videos. Alright. And the creases. And just smooth those out, make that look slightly more normal. Slightly more normal. You just keep doing this, or I just keep doing this. 
not the reason, because you'll understand in a minute why this is totally pointless. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> 